if the United States doesn't grow, we will have no prosperity. We can't invest in anything domestically or otherwise. We can't fix any of our problems. If we don't have energy growth, we can't have industrial growth. If we don't have industrial growth, we can't have job growth. These are, it's as simple as that. Every successful person doesn't need to have a PhD. Every successful person doesn't have to have gone to Stanford or MIT. And I think, I think that, 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 you know, that sensibility is, is um, spot on. I will say that we are in a technology race, and we are always in a technology race. We've been in a technology race with somebody forever. Right. Right. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've been in a technology race. Since the race. Manhattan Project. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, even going back to the discovery of energy, right? The United Kingdom was where the Industrial Revolution was, if you will, invented, when they realized that they can turn steam and such into, into energy, into electricity. All of that was invented largely in Europe. And the United States capitalized on it. We were the ones that learned from it. We industrialized it. We diffused it faster than anybody in Europe. They were all stuck in discussions about policy and jobs and disruptions. Meanwhile, the United States was forming. We just took the technology and ran with it. And so I... I think we were always in, in a bit of a technology race. World War II was a technology race. Manhattan Project was a technology race. We've been in a technology race ever since during the Cold War. I think we're still in a technology race. It is probably the single most important race. It is the technology is, uh, it gives you superpowers, you know, whether it's information superpowers or energy superpowers or military superpowers is all founded in technology. And so technology leadership is really important. If history is a guide, um, uh, we were always concerned about new technology. Humanity has always been concerned about new technology. There are always somebody who's thinking, there are always a lot of people who are quite concerned, were quite concerned. And, and, and so if, if history is a guide, it is the case um, that all of this concern is channeled into making the technology safer. And so, for example, in the last several years, I would say AI technology has increased probably in the last two years alone, maybe a hundred X. Let's just give it a number. Okay. It's like a car two years ago was a hundred times slower. So AI is a hundred times more capable today. Now, how did we channel that technology? How do we channel all of that power? We directed it to um, causing the AI to be able to think, meaning that it can take a problem that we give it, break it down step by step. It does research before it answers, and so it grounds it on truth. It'll reflect on that answer, ask itself, is this the best you know, answer that I can give you? Am I certain about this answer? If it's not certain about the answer or highly confident about the answer, you'll go back and do more research. It might actually even use a tool because that tool provides a better solution than it could hallucinate itself. As a result, we took all of that computing capability and we channeled it into having it produce a safer result, safer answer, a more truthful answer. Because as you know, one of the greatest criticisms of AI in the beginning was that it hallucinated. Right. And so if you look at the reason why people use AI so much today is because the amount of hallucination has reduced. You know, I use it almost, I, well, I used it the whole trip over here. And so, so I think the, the, uh, the, the capability, most people think about power and they think about, you know, maybe it's an explosion power, but the technology power, most of it is channeled to, towards safety. A car today is more powerful, but it's safer to drive. A lot of that power goes towards better handling. You know, I'd rather have a, well, you have a 1,000 horsepower truck. I think 500 horsepower is pretty good. No, 1,000 better. I think 1,000 is better.